My religion does not tell me. My religion does not tell me. My religion. My religion does not tell me if someone, even during the battle, Prophet told us, do not kill children, do not kill women, do not kill all the people. All the people. Is there any religion that tells you that? Even uh, according to the society or Western governments, do they believe that? But we Muslims, Prophet told us, even do not kill women, even in the battle. Imagine, see how we care about women. See, we care about women a lot. So what I'm saying is, yes, yeah, yeah. As Muslims, as Mus as a Muslim, I believe anyone who kills innocent, whether you are Muslim or non-Muslim, you are terrorist. You are terrorist. Yes, terrorism has no religion. I don't believe anyone now. Do you remember what happened in Manchester? The guy, the Muslim guy, what he did? I disagree with him. Yeah, but you would. I disagree. Because you don't have power. I disagree with power, him because he killed innocent power. people. Yeah, Is that the people who killed him? Is that the people who killed his people? Power, Why? Everyone. He was wrong. Yeah. So I disagree with him. Yeah. And people say ISIS. ISIS, we don't, they do not represent Islam. Do you know what ISIS stands for? We believe as Muslims. ISIS stands for Israel Secret Intelligence Service. ISIS does not stand Islamic State. We don't, they do not represent Islam. We, do, we disagree with them. I believe you are, Mus, you are non-Muslim. I don't believe to be killed you. I don't believe anyone who is not a Muslim to be killed. Prophet told us in the Quran, Allah told us, if you save one life, is like you saved the whole mankind. Is there any other religion tells you that? Is there any religion, other religion tells you do not kill women during the battle? Do not cut the trees? Do not burn someone? Do not kill women? Do not kill all the, pe all the people? Is there any other religion? Even Western government. That's why now if you search up, the greatest man ever in history is Prophet Muhammad. You can search up on the internet. It's not me saying it. The first one is Prophet Muhammad. And if you ask, the, the most trustworthy book in the world is Quran. Quran, we cannot change, we cannot misuse, we have to say, obey whatever Allah says. Yes, and we don't believe Prophet Muhammad is same as same level as Allah. The only reason we respect Prophet Muhammad and we follow his teaching, Allah has chosen him and Allah entrusted him to convey his message to the mankind. So that's why Allah told us in the Quran, what he speaks, Prophet Muhammad, is not of his own, but it's what Allah inspired him. Yes, it's coming from... Yes. So in Islam, we believe all prophets, even the prophets of the Bible, they have them, we believe in them. But Christians, they do not even believe Jesus to be prophet. They believe Jesus to be God. And Jesus in the Bible, he claimed to be prophet. In Islam, if you disbelieve one prophet, you disbelieve all prophets. You're not Muslim. Do you know why? Example, Jews and Christians, they are not Muslims. Do you know why? Because of rejecting the Quran and the prophet Muhammad. Disbelieving one single prophet. If I disbelieve Jesus now, I'm not a Muslim. I have to believe Jesus is a prophet. The chosen one, same as other prophets. Yeah, so you believe parts of every religion? Yes. And you have to no, in Islam, we have to believe all prophets. Yeah. The prophets they have in the Bible, we also have in the Quran. Yeah. So we have to believe them. Like Moses, Abraham, yeah, David, so yeah, David, all of them, we have to respect them. But yeah. when Muslims, we talk about the Bible, even they know now, I was talking with one Christian now, they know even the Bible is unreliable. He admitted, he said, we don't know who were the authors of the Bible. So a book, imagine you believe, you don't know their authors, it's older, yeah, credibility, and you still you preach it and believe it. Does that make sense to you? We Muslims believe Quran, imagine, is a miracle. It's the only book human being can memorize and read, recite without looking the kitab, the book, from young age. I memorized the Quran when I was seven years old. Yes, I finished. Until now, I memorized. Five year old now, if I bring recite the Quran. Imagine you don't know the language of Arabic, yet you recite the whole Quran of our heart without looking the book. 
if, if I bring Chinese now to you and you don't know the language of Chinese, would you, would you memorize it? No. Imagine you read it of Baha without looking the whole Quran. And you know how many pages? Over 650 pages. It's a miracle. If you now throw the whole Quran into the bin, let's say if a Christian, do, if a Christian does that, and they challenge Muslims to rewrite the Holy Quran, we, I can write. No others, I can write by the will of Allah. Yes, we can write, all Muslims. Yeah, that's a miracle, because how come Quran is written in Arabic language? If I bring someone from China and he's a Muslim, he can recite the Holy Quran for you. He doesn't know his language. And he doesn't know how to speak Arabic. You tell me anyone can do that. No one can do that. See? And Islam, you know, some people want to become, accept Islam, but they think they got some obstacles, hindrance, some, uh, some, some certain things that prevents them from accepting Islam. Like they say, and you know Islam is asking me to wear hijab and to pray five times to do this and this and this. Some people found it difficult to do that, but if it's difficult, Allah is not forcing you to do that. But all we care is you to accept Islam, believe in Allah, Prophet Muhammad, and then the rest step by step. You understand? So you accept Islam today, let's say example, you accept Islam, but you say, oh, you know, I found it difficult to wear hijab. If you found difficult to wear hijab, step by step. I'm not saying it's not must, it's not a condition you to accept you to wear hijab in order you to accept Islam. No, you have no, you have to wear, but if you think it's difficult to do that, then you can take your time. Step by step. No woman because do you know why women wear hijab? Because do you know Allah told us in the Quran. Men always are the ones who demands and like women first. It's a fact. Yes? That's something real, yes? It's a fact, yes? So what I'm saying, now, if a man walks like without, uncovered, uncovered, his arm, his arms uncovered, his hair is out, would any woman look at him? Would any woman harass him? But why you tell me why always men are the ones who harass women. Are the men are the ones who harass women. Shouldn't it be that the men have to change how they think rather than... Do you know why? Because we have desire. Yeah, but shouldn't and desire, your desire, you cannot control. Allah created us men to like women, not women to like us. A woman can stay without us if she can, she can control herself. Have you ever had a woman called in, in raping or in a man? Have you ever? Why? Why only men? Do you know why? Because that's one of the reasons. And your beauty, we believe in Islam, your beauty is for your, your partner. Would you, like, would you like your beauty to share your partner? Would your partner allow your beauty you to share with others? I don't think women should have to cover up to be able to like, stop men doing something. No, it's not just stopping because Allah also asks us. But that's one of the reasons I'm telling you. You understand? If Allah says do this, we have no options. But if you do it and you believe you're committing sin or you're doing haram, you know haram, yes? If you believe Allah says to wear hijab, but you think it's difficult, that means, that doesn't mean, I mean, that doesn't mean you're out of Islam. You understand that? Yeah, so if you sin, you can still be in the You're still a Muslim. As long as you believe, as long as you believe what you're doing is haram, yeah, but so you sins, know, no, yeah, no, 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 sins. Yeah. But what I'm saying, step by step, Prophet, some, some guys came to the Prophet, Prophet Muhammad's time. They said, Ya Rasulullah, oh Messenger of Allah, we found it difficult to pay zakah. You know, zakah, charity, yeah. compulsory charity in Islam. We believe yeah. every year, if you have enough certain money to pay zakah, you have to, I mean, enough and certain money, if you have that certain money, you have to give out charity to help the poor people the needy people yes, yes. example if you have like an uh, if you have like an uh, money that can cost 85 grams of gold then and that money you save it from the, today and then the next year same day as this day 
you have to give out charity. So each 100, 2.5, you give out zakah charity, compulsory charity to the needy people. Because in Islam, we have to help the needy people. Yeah, which is good. You okay. Help the yeah. yeah. Even Ramadan now, after Ramadan, we have to. Every single child, every single Muslim, after Ramadan, we finish. The last day of Ramadan, before the Eid prayer, we have to pay charity. It's must. That's good. To help the needy people. So what I'm, I'm saying to the point is, they came to the Prophet, they said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, we found difficult to to pay charity, to give out charity. Well, I and pro, you know what Prophet said? Okay, said now accept Islam, then the rest step by step. Yeah. If you think wearing hijab is difficult, take your time. You know we believe faith increases and decreases. Yeah. The more you get closer to Allah, the more you do good deed, the more you are kind to humanity, humans, the more your faith goes up. Yeah. And the more your faith goes up, the more you do good deeds.